Right, so the next demonstration we will do is uh, steam inhalation. By the way, my name is Jerry. I'm from the Netherlands, I'm 30 years old. Um, steam inhalation is a really nice treatment that brings me back to the old days uh, when I had a cold or a, uh, some other irritation in the sinus. My mom always let me do the steam inhalation. And me and my brother would often do like a contest who could stay longer under the blanket. It's a really nice treatment that brings me back to the old days. Now, stimulation is a treatment that uh, specifically uh, reaches the sinus in the upper uh, part of the uh, respiratory tract. Uh, when you have troubles with bronchitis, such as allergies, a prickling in the nose, uh, a cough, this is the right treatment for you to do. Um, not really precautions uh, for this treatment. It's a really mild treatment, but when you have asthma, it's something you need to consider to be careful because uh, the moist can give you an uncomfortable feeling. Uh, I need for this treatment also a volunteer who wants to be a volunteer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. These things. We have here eucalyptus oil. You can use any kind of herbs uh, or uh, fine essential oils or peppermint. A couple of drops is enough. This treatment will be done like 30 minutes to 60 minutes, uh, a couple of times a day. It's really important to take deep breaths through your nose. <laughs> it does smell nice, good. Yeah. Yes. You can do this treatment also when you have young children, like baby or a small child, of course the child is not bending over and sitting still, you cannot expect that. But if you have an umbrella and you have like a sheet, then you hold the umbrella, hold your baby or small child in your arm, you sit on the chair and then cover the umbrella with a sheet and then the baby or the small child can just inhale and it, it uh, comforts the, the sinus for a small child. Also when someone is sick and not, not able to get up, uh, you can use the same method and provide them this uh, relieving treatment. Exactly, yeah. And it's really very helpful. We did it um, in July, we went to India on a mission trip, and uh, we did it for some students over there, they were really sick, and we did this three times a day, and they were really getting better. Like in two days, they were better. So the whole sinus was cleared up, and even one of our students had some sinus problems when she got there, and it was all cleared in, in two days. Still terrible? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> peppermint, yeah. We use peppermint for that one. Eucalyptus or peppermint, either way. And sometimes we use even both. <laughs> yeah. Now that peppermint she sells here, like for flavoring, is that considered a essential oil? It's, yeah, it's the same It's the same as this one, the same essential oil, but mm -hmm. then uh, peppermint. So, yeah, you can use that for flavoring or indeed for this oh. one. It's a little bit stronger, I heard, but I find this one stronger. So I think everyone has their, I would say, it's not taste, but how do you say this? Preference. Personal preference. <laughs> preference, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, both are very good. And we used to use it when we didn't have those essential oils back in the day. We used to, the Vicks Vapor Rub. You have that and then just a teaspoon my mom used and then throw it in and it melts and then you get the same kind of effect. But of course, this is more natural and it's better. So, yeah. so Vicks is okay because that's okay. It's okay, all the time. but it's not natural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
while they're going to continue to the next uh, treatment. So, you want to take the yes. side, right? Oh, how do you feel? Oh, 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 very wet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you want the towel to? Yes. Yeah.